specialists in multiple fields tell you that you have essentially popped an artery in your head and a vein and they've now merged together to form some new lump on your head you have to adjust slightly whether you want to or not what's up guys liam here and welcome back to lsj tv for today's video we're going to be discussing my concussion and how i'm recovering how that has affected my like training and how it's just affected my perspective when it comes so loud out there. Anyway, so today we're going to be discussing my concussion recovery, how it's affected my perspective on life, on training, and just my approach to things just in general. But before we do that, my protein's impact week for 2022, the May version, because there's one in November as well, I think. But this one is here. It's going to be the biggest sale for six months. So stock up on everything that you can starting tomorrow, which is May 19th, 2022, aka my birthday. So if you want to buy me a birthday present and get something in return, use my link and use my code LSJ at checkout on all things MyProtein. Thank you all so much for your support. If you do use my code, if you do use my link, please send it over on Instagram. I will enter you all into a special Impact Week giveaway. And one person, one lucky person who's used the link and the code will win a special prize. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. Drop it like let's do this Since again, since being at the fair and all that kind of stuff, that that tenderness that I felt earlier on in the kind of recovery, well, well it's come back to be honest. So, um, sort of sleeping on that side again causes me a lot more issues than it did sort of two weeks ago, and uh, and so yeah. on. Yeah, I should suspect it should all settle down again. To be honest. Okay. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Hey mate. Okay. Look at the sneeze. Bless you. <laughs> Come on, I'm excited. It's gone. Right, I'm opening it. Thing you lost will soon turn up. You need that one. <laughs> Wisdom is the lamp. Good thoughts the oil. Sweet words the flame. That's a super helpful one. That. Good luck is the result of good planning. Right, someone to be true to you. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, mine were really good, yeah. Well, you can't hold them like right, that. So, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the shoulder press at the start, right? And the reason being, my approach to training has kind of changed, and that shoulder pressing has a lot to do with it, right? I couldn't actually shoulder press for quite some time because it put 
a lot of pressure, believe it or not, on my head. I'm just making some oats. That pressure kind of died down and I started to shoulder press again. It felt good, it felt great. And then, like I say, I went to the fair. Yeah, you'll see a reel of myself and Ella. We, we went and I just woke up the next day. It was a bad decision, right? In hindsight, I shouldn't have gone, but the reason I went was because I felt fine. And the thing is, right, I've been beating myself up about that ever since. And it was like three weeks ago. Um, and to be honest, that's not a good place mentally to to be in. Um, amongst other things, you know, other stresses going on, everybody has those. But like, that in particular has really bugged me because it was my fault, you know. The concussion in the first place wasn't my fault. I didn't ask for it, I didn't do anything to deserve it. But this, me feeling like this right here, right now, that is my fault and that is where my problem lies. However... <laughs> Me doing things like going to the fair and, well, training in the way that I did, just, is a result of me essentially saying, fuck it, this thing, concussion, has controlled my life, has damaged my life and changed my life. It's so loud out there for so long, for too long and I'm just gonna crack on with life as I should. And that, in a sense, is what the doctor says. But at the same time, I mean, you can see the disappointment on my face. You guys just caught the end of the conversation earlier in the video. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just was not happy with the feedback that I was given because it was just not what I wanted to hear. It's as simple as that. And yes, I am well aware that there are people out there with much worse situations, with much worse things going on in their life. However, when a doctor, multiple specialists, concussion, brain, whatever the hell, specialists in multiple fields, tell you that you have essentially popped an artery in your head and a vein and they've now merged together to form some new lump on your head, you have to adjust slightly whether you want to or not, right? So for a long time, I had to adjust what I was doing, the way I went about my daily life, the way I trained, the way I worked. I still can't look at a screen for too long right now. Um, all of these things impact my my daily life. Um, not that, not that I, can, I mean, you watch, I'll get off this call and I'll think of something, but um, not that I can think of, no. Alright, thanks very much for your time. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you, bye. Mm. Now, I would be lying if I said that this hadn't caused me, to be honest, just I'm gonna shut this window. The reason why I hadn't is because it's so friggin' warm, but anyway, I would be lying if I said that this hadn't caused me just straight up paranoia. <laughs> like, in, in daily life, things that Let's say you are presented with information and that stresses you out or whatever. I, in the past, have always been, I never used to be as a kid, but as I grow older, I've gotten very good at taking a step back and rationalizing said information and thinking, right, okay, this is the problem. Or how do we solve that problem, right? This has happened, that's happened. How do I solve it? I've always been very, very good at that. Since this concussion, my brain function just has not been the same which has made my daily working life so 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 hard it's actually laughable I'm kind of chuckling now because I'm aware of what's happening and what's going on but I just feel so hopeless and lost and like I can't do anything about it and that is quite embarrassing for a man you know I'm a man to say but that's the truth, and anyone that's been through the same or something similar will probably understand what I'm talking about, how this kind of thing affects you mentally. I, I, I really didn't see it coming. I saw this being a two-week thing. I'll have to stay in bed for a little while, and, and, and that'll be it. But it's been nine months now. You can have a baby in the amount of time it's taken me to recover from this, and I'm still not there yet. And that alone is another contributing factor to why I'm now training the way that I'm training. I'm going for heavy shoulder presses because I'm alive. I'm here. Yes, my recovery might be a little bit slower. It might slow things down even more, but I'm here and I can do it. So I'm gonna smash it. 
110 kilos above your head. I failed on the 150 and we'll get to that in, in a minute. But 110 kilos above my head, easily. After doing working sets on 80, 90, and then thinking, oh, 90 was easy, let me go for 100 for one. And then 110 for one, and then 115, which I failed. I think if I went in fresh, I could go for 120 and get it with a push, obviously, but either way. Me shoulder pressing and me training in that way right now is because of that, because of this recovery taking so long. I am sick of it. I am fucking sick of it. But slowly but surely, ladies and gentlemen, we are in fact getting there, believe it or not. If you told me that I would be in this position sort of two, three months ago, I would have snapped your hand off for it. Yes, six weeks ago I was in a better position than what I am now, but two, three months ago I didn't expect to have the recovery rate, if you like, that, that I did up to that point when I went to the fair and stuff like that. We're taking it as a lesson learned. We're taking it as just a bit of a, a minor setback in what has been a slow but steady recovery process. And we're gonna keep training as we are. See, the thing is, I had goals of dieting, I had goals of getting shredded and stuff like that. And that's not really happened either because I have wanted to put on the mass. I kind of got to the point where I wanted to put back on the mass that I lost, right? I couldn't train properly for six or seven months. That is a long time when you are trying to put on muscle. I was trying to save every ounce of muscle that I had, let alone try and put on any. You know, I was just trying to train in any way, shape or form. I was just trying to do something because I couldn't before. But on that note, we can now, just not as much as I would like to. I'm in a very good position, I've got very good people around me and I'm going to get through this. This is me talking to me right now. Liam, watch this in six weeks time if you feel like crap. You are gonna get through this and you're gonna be cool. You're gonna be fine, you're gonna be sweet. It has and I'm sure it will do for at least the next few weeks affected my goals in terms of summer shredding because I have wanted to and I have achieved that. It's back on the shoulders back on the chest, the legs have grown, been in the process of putting on the muscle that we lost from the concussion. I feel like we're kind of getting there now. I'm basically the biggest and strongest I've been in a long time. I'm shifting heavy, heavy weights on a daily and I'm very happy about it, right? I've had more compliments, believe it or not, about my physique at this peak bulk, which I'm really not happy with stage. I've had more compliments about my physique in the past few weeks than I have in the past year of being at UFB. It's a really bizarre kind of thing. People can just see that you're putting on size and I don't know, I think people can just notice that I'm walking around happier. You guys have certainly noticed. People have been commenting and messaging, you know, just, just thank you by the way for, thank you for that. It's just, it's nice to see that others can see that I'm happier because I wasn't for quite a long time, you know? Um, and this whole concussion was a massive, massive, massive setback in life. Um, so thank you for everybody who has noticed. And if you have noticed and haven't commented, I, I still, I appreciate it, you know, because it's, it's nice to feel like it's being portrayed on, on social media because it's important. Happiness is all you need in this life. With that, we're going to keep pushing forwards day by day, pushing just to be that little bit better than what we were yesterday. And thank you all so much for joining me on that massive, endless journey. Together, we will grow. Please do not forget that My Protein Impact Week starts today, the day you are seeing this video tomorrow, which is also my birthday, so send me some gifts. <laughs> I am joking about the gifts, by the way, guys. No. But if you do want to buy me something, you know, use code LSJ at checkout and I, I will get some kickback if you use my link. So that can be my your gift to me and you can get some protein in the meantime. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your support, especially over the past few months where content has been, I feel personally, all over the shop. You guys might still enjoy it. You might not have noticed, but for me, it feels good to be getting back on track. Thank you to everyone involved. You know exactly who you are. I appreciate you all. I love you all. Together we will grow. Thank you for tuning in today, guys, and I will see you in the next one.